At Summer League, I walked by this guy a bunch of times, and I kept, you know, I was interested by him. Dijon Vasiljevic. Vasiljevic. Tell me if that's correct. He's played for the Melbourne Tigers. Then he went to the Australian Institute of Sports, then played for the Diamond Valley Eagles, and then played college basketball at the University of Miami, which you know your boy is starting his graduate degree there. Then won two championships with the Sydney Kings and played this summer league with the Washington Wizards. Now, the Australian guard, the Jean, tell me if I'm saying correctly his last name, Vasiljevic. And the Wizards have agreed to an Exhibit 10 training camp deal, which, like, if he makes the roster, it becomes, like, a one-year deal, or he'll be on the G League team. In three games this year for the Wizards Summer League team, the six foot three Dijon averaged 7.5 points in about 13 minutes. He made 5 of, three thir- five of 13 three-pointers in three appearances. This is a guy who's been playing in Sydney for the last three seasons. He went on drafted in 2020 after playing four years of basketball for the University of Miami Hurricanes. In 39 games last year, the 26-year-old averaged 13 points and four and a half rebounds. Now, I'm a fan of his. I am a fan of his. And he did the thing where the Diamond Valley Eagles are MB, an MBL one. It used to be like the Queensland Basketball League. I was actually talking to one of the head coaches of an Australian team about that. But this is a guy who's easily averaged like 13, 14 points. Okay, 15 points overseas. And he's a shooter with some size. Like he's 6'3", but like it's not huge. But like he's kind of a thick boy. Okay, he's like 205 pounds, maybe 210 plays aggressive okay and the cool thing is is that his dad attempted to mold him and like mold his like his dad wanted him to play like Drazen Petrovic and it, it's pretty crazy that he, the reason he chose Miami over Stanford, LSU, Louisville, and California was that he loved the city and the academics. That, like, academics was a really big part of him and why he stayed four years in college. So I thought that was really cool. And I thought it would be something that you guys would enjoy, too. Let me hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you guys think? And if there was anything else you guys would have wanted to hear, let me know. But... That's basically going to be it for me. I am showing a combination of his highlights from Summer League and with the Kings. So, yeah.